G'day and welcome back. Uh, this is a build I've been wanting to do for a little while. It's a very basic, simple build, but it's been one I've been wanting to do. This is a die holder I built back in 2019, and it served me well. It's done a great job. But it ain't take these small dies, M dies, but it won't take the larger ones. So I want to make a new one that doesn't rely on this handle. It'll be the type that has the pin that goes through the main body into the, the arb, if you want to call it, and it'll just pull itself along. The reason I want to get rid of that handle too is I run the four-way tool post. So I don't have a quick change. Yeah, you've got to take the tool out so you can rest the handle in there to, um, to let itself feed, which is it's not a it's not a big pain in the ass, but it's yeah it's just another thing you've got to do. Where if I can just have it just yeah work by itself, it'll be much better. So just a very very quick build this one, no plans, just make it up as I go, and just get it done. Hope you enjoy. Rightio, this portion here up to this green line is going to be an MT3 Arbor with a tang on it. So I've got about 12 mil to remove off this. This is the um, closest diameter material I had to do the job. So it's a bit of material to come off. A bit of waste, but that's the way it is. Twenty six point I'll show you twenty six point three nine. It's a fraction over forty, so point oh one the difference. That's bugger all. I've got one point eight nine mil to come off this diameter. set up to do this taper here just using the normal setup for when I set the tapers just a four inch sign bar some gauge blocks under this end and that's reading pretty darn true makes it really easy with this Noga arm too being a solid like a solid unit where before Always had you know, movement in the um, indicator, which has been a bit of a pain to deal with, but Noga makes it a lot easier. Righto, got the power feed set up because I'm lazy, it'll work. Don't like that finish. for a test fit contact in good contact all the way I'm pretty happy with that okay one thing I did forget to do is Relieve this end here for the tang and then I can continue on and put the taper on so Now I can go back to finish cutting that taper I'm going to leave it there and I'm just going to hit it with a bit of scotch bright 
see how it cleans up. That cleaned up quite nice. Tape is finished. So now I can reduce this end down. I know it's a waste of material, but anyway, it is what it is. Reduce this down to inch. I can see I'm going to get nailed in the comments about waste of material, but that's life. So that's still half a millimetre up on dimension. So I'm going to spin it around and hold it in the uh, headstock, face it off. Gently put a sander in it and then finish machining this end. Uh, I was shooting for 26 and I didn't hit the number, yeah, but 0.02, 0.02 under, so new measuring gear and I still can't get it right. Anyway, it's not going to matter because the other piece has only got to slide over it, so it's not going to matter. That piece can come out now and be put aside because I have to put a cross hole in here for the pin and I'll also have to put the um, for the flats on the taper. But uh, I'll get the other bits made up first and do that after. Right, I'll make a start on the first of the slides that holds the die. So this will have a 26 mil hole which would be a sliding fit over the arbor uh, this portion here is going to be down to 38 mil this end will just be a slight clean up on the outer diameter what's left in the jaws and we'll turn it around the end will be opened up to take the larger die and three yeah, obviously three set screws to hold it and then this will end up with having a slot in it as well so it'll hold the um the pin so any rotation so I've got a fair bit of material to come off didn't take long it should be down to 40 mil one at 38 in the end and it will have a knurl on it as well Yeah, 
37.92 that was a fairly good cut for that insert type of insert I reckon okay I'm going to open up the hole in the middle now out to a nice sliding fit over the arbor so around 26 mil Okay, done some measuring. I got 0.29 remaining to come out. We'll put me at about 26.05 around there. Yeah, it's a little bit ordinary that finish, but it's going to have to do. Hope this fits. It's going to work. A little bit of play. That now didn't turn out too bad. I'm just going to run a fine file over it just to take the sharpness off it. Come in and just cut each side gently just to give it a square edge again. Spin it around now and just hold it by this gently. Shut this end up and then put it over in the middle and put some slots in it. I've got to bore this out. Now I didn't leave myself much room, I know that. I'll bore it out and see how it looks.
Yes, just like that. So this piece can come out of here now. And next stop for that is on the mill. Surprisingly, it didn't hurt the mill. Or maybe. A little tiny bit. It's not going to matter. Okay, we're started to put the flats on the end of the tang. So, decided to use a planer gauge this time. So, just a couple of clamps, just holding that in against the taper with a pin. There's only a cross hole then to put in this part, and this part's finished. So, and before you all nail me, yes, I know the coolant needs changing, and I haven't got around to it because I've been lazy. As expected, I did stuff it up. I took a fraction more off this side than what I should have. Well, took more than what I should have done. But it hasn't affected it. I did try it in the quill of the lathe and it goes in tight, ejects nice. So, just a little screw up mark. Wouldn't be normal if it wasn't one of them on my job. Okay, I've turned the part around in the collet picked up on center with the edge finder and I've decided I'm going to put an M10 thread through this rod and just use one stud for now and see how that goes so just one slot in the sliding section if it does seem to give trouble I can always drill this out put this uh, second slot opposite to the original one in the slide and run a nut and bolt whatever through pin whatever so I'm going to have a crack at it anyway. Okay, I just tapped that hole off camera, didn't miss much. I did use a um, one of the 10 mil taps that was donated in, the high speed steel. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, I've picked up on center with the edge finder. Just gonna put that slot in. So I've used a 3.8 end mil. I'm just gonna side shift just so I can clean the edges up instead of using a 10 mil cutter and just gonna yeah it'll be about half a hole outside this knurled section about the same on this end here as well so no real set dimensions
Okay, that slot is in and chamfered around the outer perimeter. While I'm still on center line, I'm going to punch a 5mm hole down through the top and the bottom. That'll be where the set screws go. It'll save just picking up on center line again. Okay, off camera, I will just do a little counter sink and then tap them M6, both them holes. And they're done, this piece is finished then. Okay, off camera, I turned up, well, it's just a piece of bar rod, just single point threaded a 10 by 1.5 thread and parted it off. Um, I wasn't going to film that sort of stuff. So that just screws into there. I might end up putting a little um, slitting saw groove in there just for a screwdriver just to lock it down. Because it is going to be a bit of a pain. That just stops it rotating. Gives it the drive and keeps it captured. Come up alright, eh? Well that build's finished for now. Now I will end up at some stage when I get some more material. I am running very low on material at the moment. Um, and I don't want to waste any more material that I don't need to. Uh, I can still use this one here to run these dies for now. These two sizes, this insert just comes out and you can put the larger or the smaller in. But for these ones, I can just use this. And when I get some more material, then I can go ahead and make another one of these, or another two, to suit these two sizes and make this one obsolete. Um, overall, pretty happy with the way that build went and done it in a day. So, and I didn't, didn't go stupidly rush at it, but just consistent all day and yeah got it done it turned out pretty nice that knurl that knurl that old knurling tool i got i bought that probably five years ago just abused it from day dot but it, it still works perfect i don't know how because it's just had a flogging but uh yeah more flogged yet it gets a better the job it does yeah, if you haven't got one of these, you should think about making yourself one. Not hard. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. Not sure if there's going to be a video next week. I've got a little bit on next week, so, I, yeah, i just got to wait and see if there is going to be one. Um, but if there isn't, there'll be one the following week, probably. But I hope, yeah, I hope I can get one out next week as well. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you after. Hooroo.